Good afternoon and welcome to secondary schools football action here. Championship division. It's the girls. Um, we have Bishop Centenary College versus St. Joseph Convent. St. Joseph Port of Spain. So we're gonna give you a bit of the starting lineups here. For Bishop Centenary, we have number six, Maya John, number seven, Deborah Charles, number Zero, Surya Roberts, number 10, Naya Allard, number 4, Kiana Makano, number 12, Aliyah Williams, number 18, Chenasa Wright, number 19, Tamiya Singh, number 15, Jada Duke, number 2, Fantasia Samuel, and rounding out the starting 11 is number 3, Salisha Phillip. For St. Joseph, Port of Spain, we have number 11, Hannah Vieira, number 1, Alexia Dorland, number 30, Tamia Martin, number 7, Michaela Yearwood, number 15, Rebecca Panton, number 8, Emily Nanton, number 17, Giovanna Gilks, number 28, Mateja Liban, number 6, M. Miriam Campbell Smith, number 21, Nicola Kwan, and round you now, the starting 11, number 12, Annalisa Akan. We see referees just going through the last minute protocols, having the photos taken, counting down here. Time for kickoff in this one. St. Joseph Convent Port of Spain playing in their pink bibs today. A bit of a strange addition to their uniforms. Not sure of the players because of the bibs they are wearing, not unable to see numbers on their backs. So, Bishop Centenary in their blue and St. Joseph Convent Port of Spain in their pink bibs. Referee signaling to the boat keepers. Are you ready? And that's kick off here. Bishop Centenary get us going in this one. Big number four clearing it out from the back. That's Kiana Makano. Yes, she's again. Booted long down field. Makano. One out there by Tamia Singh. Here's number seven, Deborah Charles. One back there by St. Joseph. Coming forward here is Samuel, Fantasia Samuel. But she has a run check there by the left back. We had the Bishop Centenary School Ground. Ball inside. Bishop Centenary in possession with Aliyah Williams. Ball goes into touch. It's going to be a centenary true. To be taken here by Duke, Jada Duke. Ball don't feel chance here. Coming out there is goalkeeper Roberts, Surya Roberts. Number 18 winning out there, that's right. Oh, but definitely touched the hand there of Williams, Aliyah Williams. Mm -hmm. 
was all the way through the two robots, so real robots. Saint Joseph now. In possession here is Saint Joseph Convent. But well in back possession. Battling out here on this near side. It's a convent, battle of the convents here. St. Joseph Convent coming up against Bishop Centenary. In this North Zone clash. to be taken here by Deborah Charles let's see if this is a good one here from Deborah seems to be a good one back to Deborah Charles but one back here by St. Joseph Convent not able to distinguish the players oh but a push there from Makano heavy challenge St. Joseph Convent in possession nice ball inside Goes past Makano, St. Joseph Convent. What a good opportunity here now in the attacking third, but coming across there was the captain. It's not a captain, that was Jada Duke. There. Yeah. Chance for the ball across. Oh, and just goes over. So, St. Joseph Convent building up nicely on that right hand side ball over but just unable to pick out anyone in the center it's gonna be a goal kick here now to centenary here comes Porus convent again st joseph shot wide gonna take it again is kiana makano Ball kick there from Makano allowance St. Joseph eventually cleared away and it's here you now with Philip one back there by St. Joseph a little pushing and pulling here so far St. Joseph now good spell of possession there from them Looking to string a couple of passes together, get themselves going in this one. Five minutes gone here at the Bishop's Crown in St. Clair. It's going to be a convent corner here. St. Joseph's Corner. Ball inside. Just not able to keep it in play there was that player over on that far side. So it's a goal kick to be taken here by Makano. Makano not a really good kick from her but luckily for her it finds one of her players. But here comes St. Joseph now winning back possession and looking to build something. Good work there. From the defender, chance here. Good shot there from, good save there from Surya. The opportunity fell to one of those players there, and they got the shot away quickly. Robots right behind it. Here they come again. Saint Joseph, ball across. Unmarked here is his player. On oh, easily held there by. Robots again. Robots not wasting no time in getting it downfield. Mm -hmm. 
Here they come again, St. Joseph. Not really any direction on that attempt on goal. Makano on goal kick duty once more. Low from Makano, chance here. Oh, <laughs> what good defending there from Makano. Good work there. Really forcing the issue now is St. Joseph winning back possession and looking to bundle up there all these girls. Here's Makano. So Centenary with so St. Joseph Convent with the better of the early opportunities in this one. Referee La Rose. They're spotting something. Injury to one of the centenary players. Player has been held up here. Coming up to that 10 minute mark. St. Joseph Convent, Convent will be the happier of the two teams that we see in your screen is Tasha St. Louis, former national player and coach of the St. Joseph Convent girls. Definitely a player with a lot of experience, quite a number of caps for Trinidad and Tobago. Here comes St. Joseph again. Ball inside, headed back into the danger area there by Charles. Still not cleared. Makano holding off a couple of. St. Joseph Convent players. But then she just puts it into touch. So coming back on there is the number 14. Deborah Charles Gonna oh, no, attempt showing this one here Here comes St. Joseph Convent again Are they able to control there? Go through to Surya Roberts and she looks downfield and finds and here is now Philip Charles Deborah Charles Free kick here now to St. Joseph. Attempt on goal. 
high and not so handsome. So both teams are really still battling it out, still trying to find their feet in this one. And uh, no team able to create any real goal scoring opportunities. But St. Joseph Convent presented with opportunity here and goes wide. But that was a glorious opportunity. They have fallen to one of the Convent players. She was unable to take her chance. Goes wide. So from these goal kicks, Makano not able to get any sort of height on them. And there you see, realizing that is the St. Joseph Convent players. They are standing right at the top of the area there. Again, Makano with no height on the goal kick. Luckily for her, it falls to a centenary player. Battling away there was Philip. She's just getting a talking to their former Freela Rose. going to be a free kick here now for St. Joseph there we see Tasha St. Louis passing on some instructions oh team attempt there easily handled there by robots in a battle there but winning out getting a shot off robots downfield now Philip still philip looking for some options looking there for tamir singh shin joseph's ball Deborah Charles Charles again looking for Singh Fall through says the referee's assistant Coming away here now is St. Joseph Convent, but one back nicely there by Deborah Charles. Good work there defensively, but here's Tamiya Singh now with a chance to go forward. Singh into Philip. Coming across there. Stuffing out the danger was the defender. Deborah Charles looking for a long throw. Not able to pick out any of her teammates. Ball inside. Headed away. Danger still not cleared. St. Joseph able to bring it away now. Given away easily there. Here comes St. Joseph. Bearing down on goal now. Oh, had Maya Roberts for company, Maya John for company there. She did well to put off the shot there from the attacker. You see those girls going right to the edge of the area there, realizing that Makano is not getting any height on the clear on the goal kick at this time she gets it over but it gonna be cleared away by Samuel Fantasia Samuel puts it behind so it's gonna be a 
St. Joseph corner 17 minutes played here no goals yet in this one Ball over, shot on goal, saved by Roberts. Robert Roberts moving smart to her left hand side here, yeah, making that save. St. Joseph, they are beginning to really assert themselves on this game now. Centenary pinned really in their own half. Here comes St. Joseph again. Here they come again, but cut out there by Charles. Showing now to St. Joseph. Makano just barging <laughs> the attack off the ball there. Here they come again, St. Joseph. Oh, but glad her lines there was Makano. Big number four, Kiana Makano. At the heart of the defense for Centenary. So halfway through the first half here, we yet to see any goals in this one. No team really rootless in front of goal so far. Makano, long throw from her. Releases Philip. Philip now with a chance to run at the defenders. Philip, still Philip. Came off Philip last. Good run from her. Here they come again. St. Joseph coming in waves. Good ball over there. But not able to bring it under control. Was the play over on that far side? But good switch of play there from St. Joseph. Leaving it for Makano. Makano, she's leaving it for Allard. Maya Allard. Not bad from Allard. Nice ball over the top. Just Charles. Allard again. But that's going to be a card issued there too, Deborah Charles. She has her name taken by the referee. 
for that infringement there. Nice ball there, Robert coming all the way to the front of our uh, Latin yard and then just barging into the attacker there was Makano, a bit of a rugby tackle from her. And she's definitely getting a talking to from the referee good chance here now for St. Joseph from this uh, resulting free kick goes wide not really hitting the target there with that one Easily held there by robots. John, Captain Maya John. When an out there was St. Joseph Convent and she's coming down here. Oh, and that's the opening goal in this one there. Not sure of the player, but she made a darting run forward and uh, beat goalkeeper robots on her near side and that's the opening goal there we see a good boosting run from the defender from the back going past a couple of challenges and then scooting a low shot low drive really past goalkeeper roberts so saint joseph take the lead in this one they lead by one goal to nil 25 minutes gone here they were really pressing the bishop centenary is defense and finally the door opened the bishops get us going again good ball here's the goal scorer looking to go for a run again here she is again looking wider picking out the right back ball inside this time robots on spot we take it off the toes of the attacker there. Nice ball inside, finding the center forward. She's looking to link up with the captain. Oh, either side of Roberts there, and that would have been goal number two. Good ball inside there from center forward, picking out player who was making that dart and run there. Free kick here now to Centenary. Good ball there from Allard. Rolls all the way through to goalkeeper Dorland. Big ball over the top. Searching 
But in the way there was Makano. Makano again. Good work on this near side. Trying to get it over there. Just unable to cross it over. But St. Joseph Convent really coming in waves now. Yeah, applying a lot of pressure. Of already scored it true not sure the player already broken the deadlock Makano over this one again so centenary now with a chance to release some pressure here they go forward now with Alad but she loses out and then just trips up the defender there Not the best of controls center there. One back nicely there by St. Joseph. Here they come again, St. Joseph. Strong challenge by Deborah Charles. Just put out of touch there by the defender. Strong challenge from her. A good turn there from Williams. Booted downfield. So Centenary releasing a little bit of the pressure now, absorbing it and now they are applying a bit of pressure of their own. Yeah, half an hour gone in this one. St. Joseph Convent leads this one by one goal to nil. Turn straight to St. Joseph play and here they come again St. Joseph on the attack. Ball over. It's going to be easily picked up there by Roberts. Bundle in the back there, Deborah Charles. A lad. Big ball forward, looking for Singh. Tamia Singh. Oh, her shot just goes wide. Good attempt there from Tamia Singh. Goalkeeper came out and didn't get it. Tamia Singh just drags the shot wide. That's the first real opportunity after 32 minutes for Centenary. Tamia Singh there unable to hit the target. Goalkeeper Dolan coming off a line. Luckily for her, it didn't find the back of the net. But here they come again. Centenary. 
Tamiya Singh again. Here she is again, Singh. And this time she finds the back of the net. Tamiya Singh with the goal for Centenary. Leveling things up here. That's one all. Immediately after scuffing that chance, another one came to hand. This time she made no mistake. Finding the back of the net there. Yeah, so things heating up in this one. Centenary after absorbing a whole lot of pressure from St. Joseph Convent. They applied some pressure and it resulted in a goal for them. So credit to them for staying in the game. They have a well deserved goal. So right back where we started. One all here now. St. Joseph Convent will re really be looking. Here they come again. Over on this right hand side. St. Joseph ball inside. Not taken there. Unable to control that one. Yeah, we see again the players just forming that wall there when the goal kick is being taken. Shot from distance. Still with St. Joseph. Ball inside. Chance to get a shot away. Goes back and this one is going to be easily claimed there by Roberts. Nice interpassing there between the two players. So the game beginning to open up here now. Both teams creating opportunities Good scoring opportunities. Here's Makano again. The long clearance. Sing. Phillips. Anywhere will do. All the way back to goalkeeper Dolland. Long ball, switching for the run of the center forward there. So taking this one is Williams, Elia Williams. Plays out into touch again. Right. Looking for the run there of Alad Charles. Good work there. Given away. And here comes St. Joseph again. Looking for the ball through. Maya John. Did well.
Roberts wasting no time in getting the ball up. Here's Charles, Deborah Charles. Still Deborah Charles. Coming across there was the right back. Doing a nice piece of work there. Chinasa right. Coming up close to the half time whistle here in this one. It's about two minutes remaining to the half. Here is Tamiya Singh again. True on goal, Tamiya Singh. Still, Singh. Phillips now. Good chance there for Tamiya Singh. Just unable to get a shot away there. Oh, but given away there. Makano. Oh, and then easily. Claim there by Roberts. Shot from distance. Easily held again there by Roberts. Right. Chinasa, right. Booted long down field. Turn here to Centenary. Not the best of throws there from right. Allowing St. Joseph to come forward. Chance here for them again. Good save there from Roberts. Came off a line there and did well. St. Joseph. Wanna hear? Ball inside. John able to clear her lines there. Maya John and that's the half here in this one it's one all at the half
Excuse, 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 excuse me, Thomas. So welcome back to second half action here in the girls division. We have Bishop Centenary College up against St. Joseph Convent, Port of Spain. We are deadlocked at one all here coming into the second half. Goals for Bishop Centenary coming from the boot of Tamia Singh. I'm not sure the player who scored for St. Joseph Convent, Port of Spain as we are unable to identify the numbers on the back of their shirts. So St. Joseph going to get us going here in the second half. So a substitution being made here by St. Joseph Convent. Both teams really cancel each other out in the first half after a huge spell of pressure from St. Joseph Convent. Bishop Centenary was able to absorb the pressure and apply some of their own and they eventually opened their account. So it's one all here. Here we go. Second half action. In this one. Long ball upfield. Tebra Charles. She has taken up a more central role here for Centenary. Here she is again, Debra. Battling out there is these girls. Here come Bishops. Ball in the face there of Aliyah Williams. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ball inside. Maya John playing her lines. It's danger. Still not clear. It's going to be a corner a to St. Joseph Convent. Just as they started the first half on the front foot, they have a corner on the resumption. They have a couple of players who can deliver good balls from set pieces. You're going to take a look at this delivery here. Ball inside. Into the area. Chance for a shot. And then just push in the back there. No call from the referee. Seemed to be a definite push in the back there. No call from referee La, referee La Rose. Tebra Charles just puts it into touch. Down the line. Here comes Centenary now. Good work there by the defender. And Deborah Charles just mops up. Loose ball. Goes inside. One out there by Tamia Singh. Looking to release. Allard. Allard. Well dealt with there at the back. Clearing her lines. There was the defender. Game beginning to open up now. Stretch both teams. Creating opportunities. Goal scoring opportunities. Coming over to take this one is Deborah Charles. And it's off of Charles. Down the line. Asking the winger to make the run. Here's Makano. She's attempting a long one here. Deborah Makano. Here she is again, Makano. She puts it into touch. Ball inside. Looking to make a, a yard for herself. So it's going to be a free kick here for St. Joseph Convent. Promising area for them. She's going to have a attempt on goal there, but not really troubling goalkeeper Roberts. <laughs> so again, on goal kick duties is Makano. Good clearance there from Makano. Finding Singh, but she loses out. Ball inside. Played down the line, but she sent her forward is deemed to be in an offside position. Well held there by goalkeeper Roberts. Finds Alad. Alad now to sing. She loses out. 
Here comes St. Joseph Convent. Ball inside. Yes, she can keep it in. No, it seems as though it went out of play. Unable to keep it in there was the attacker. All forward by Allard. One back here by Bishops. Here they go. Coming down this left hand side. Oh, and just tripped over the ball there. And Makano. Here, Bishops. St. Joseph regain possession. Chance for a shot. And it's into the back of the net. Yeah, really out of nothing there. St. Joseph take the lead. Shot from distance there. Goalkeeper Roberts knew nothing about that one. There we can see. Chance for a shot. She took it on and found the back of the net there. And Bish St. Joseph. They go up by two goals to one. In the 47th minute there. Centenary get us started again. No. Referee says. Back on spot. Charles. Hebra Charles. Here comes St. Joseph again. Fresh after that goal. Pint size winger. Good hole the play there by that attacker. And she was looking for the cross, but she just skewed that one. Goes behind. So St. Joseph Convent, just like they started the first half, on the front foot and scoring early in the second half. They scored early in the first half and it did almost the same in the second half. Here they are again, St. Joseph Convent. Chance for a shot. Oh, Makano. In the way of that one there. Took the sting of the shot there. Not controlled by Phillips. Beaten Go skipper John. And Makano in the way of that one. Taking the sting out of it there. And getting a card, a yellow card received for that high boot there on the keeper. Ball inside, but given away to Phillips. Phillips looking to get Williams going.
Oh, what a deal, what a deal was Makano. Here come bishops. Good cool kick there by Makano, but one back center of the pitch there by St. Joseph Convent and here they break down this left hand side. Good work from the winger there, getting the ball across, forward not able to bring it down. Still St. Joseph Convent, chance to get it over. Just goes out of play, not able to keep it in there was the pint size attacker coming in at that far post. Makano in the way of the shot there again goes out for another St. Joseph's corner Ball inside. Attempts an acrobatic attempt there. Robots right on spot. A good ball. Looking to release Allard. Allard. Easily dealt with there by goalkeeper Doran. Oh, and giving it away here is the goalkeeper. Williams just not able to get to the end of that one. Phillips. Phillips again. Held up there by the water. Remember you're watching secondary schools action here in the girls division. Yeah, St. Joseph Convent versus Bishop Centenary. St. Joseph Convent lead this one by two goals to one. St. Joseph Convent coached by former national player Tasha St. Louis. Put out there by the attacker. Long throw. Makano. Sing. Hey. 
Early ball inside. Missed there by Maya John. And again to the rescue was Makano. She has been solid at the back. And for Centenary. Stuffing out any sort of danger that is coming her way. Here she is again, Makano. St. Joseph now. So brought down in the area there. So St. Joseph have themselves up penalty well 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 thought it was outside the area referee said it was in the area so they have themselves a penalty chance to extend their lead in this one St. Joseph convent Standing in, in her way is Roberts. Surreal Roberts from the penalty spot makes no mistake there. And that's the three goal. That's the third goal now for St. Joseph Convent. From the penalty spot made no mistake with that one there. Executed to perfection. And St. Joseph, they have their third goal. And they are extending the lead in this one centenary for all their hard work there. Gave up a soft penalty. And St. Joseph Convent converted from the spot. Still battling away. It's going to be a centenary free kick. Alad with this one good work there from the defender putting it out for Troyan Here comes Bishop. St. Joseph. Shot from distance. Pumped away. Oh, not able to get it on target there. Cleared away. Here they come again, St. Joseph.
poor delivery there from attempted cross on this right hand side So just past the half, just past the hour mark in this one, and St. Joseph Convent they lead by three goals to one. Centenary here from this goal kick, Makano. So St. Joseph Convent looking to make a double substitution. So double substitution being made here by St. Joseph Convent. Throwing on a couple of fresh legs there. Change also for bishops. See the number nine coming on. Good work there by the defense. Getting the ball away. But then given right back to them here's a substitute heavy touch there here they come again St. Joseph Convent still chance for a shot oh just wide good attempt on goal there pageant away through and getting a shot off early there was that player just wide 64 minutes here coming up to the 50, 65th minute mark in this one it's an all convent affair here between these two teams St. Joseph Convent and Bishop Centenary Good work there from Samuel Fantasia. Samuel holding off the attacker there. <coughs> Chance to get a ball over. Peter Marker. Ball inside. Still, danger. Not cleared. Maya John gets it away this time. Makano to the rescue once more.
Good skill or oh, shot just a bit on the team side. Here comes St. Joseph again. Nice ball inside here. Can she get a shot away? Run into a couple of defenders and a push in the back. Will that be another penalty for St. Joseph Convent? Yes, it's going to be another penalty for them. Ill-advised challenge there. And that's going to be another penalty for St. Joseph Convent. Rush tackle inside their own area is only going to result in a penalty kick. We saw how calm and cool she was taking the previous penalty. Here she is again. Same side. And she makes it four goals to one now. Goalkeeper Roberts got her hand to it but not able to keep it out there we see Roberts guessing the right way but not able to keep it out there and it goes through so that's St. Joseph Convent's fourth goal from the penalty spot again 68 minutes gone and they get their fourth goal So Centenary after staying in it for a while has just wheels have just gone off there for them a bit. Centenary racking up their fourth goal. St. Joseph Convent rather racking up their fourth goal there and here they come again. St. Joseph Convent in the mood for more. Here they are again bearing down on goal once more. Chance for the shot. This time into the hands of Roberts. So they definitely want more goals. They keep coming and coming and coming. Here they are again. Caught it out by a couple of challenges there, but here they come again. St. Joseph Convent pressing and probing this defense. Will she get a shot off now? Straight into the hands of Roberts once more. Definitely opening up a lot of chances is St. Joseph Convent. Credit to Roberts, she has been on the spot, has been beaten four times, but she's definitely saved her team. Good work there from the defender. Ball goes all the way through. Easily claimed there by Doland. Referee calling the play back there. So 
So another sub double substitution here for St. Joseph Convent. Clear away there. Chance for a shot, just wide. Seventy two minutes gone here. St. Joseph really in the ascendancy now but on the counter here now with Alad. Alad with a chance to get a shot on goal and she pulls one back for Bishop Centenary. Alad against the run of play there running onto that ball and calmly beaten goalkeeper Dolan there pulls another one back for Bishop Centenary. So it St. Joseph Convent 4, Bishop Centenary 2. We're in for a real topsy turvy finish here. Just about 7 minutes remaining. Can they pull another one back and make it in super interesting in the remaining minutes here? Near Allard, they're totally against the run of play. Ball played, oh, ball played to her, running onto it there. Finish it and finishing it off nicely. There was Allard. So, Joseph gonna get us going here again. Referee just making sure all is well. Going over to his assistant there. Just about ready to get things going here again. St. Joseph on the front foot again. Not going to go past Makano that easily. Here they come again, Centenary, St. Joseph rather. Just no direction on that shot there. So St. Joseph holding on here to their two goal lead. Centenary, they want more. 
St. Joseph coming again here he is oh Alad is not going to get any end of this one she was willing to make that run again there Alad Deborah Charles Good work there. Not able to keep it in there. Time against Bishop Centenary here, every other get themselves another goal. St. Joseph Convent. They want more. They keep coming. Good work at the back there from score of the two penalties. Played it down the line there, looking for the run of the forward. Just put into touch. Time join here yeah, in this one. St. Joseph holding on to their lead. the throw put all there so it's going to be a centenary throw now Phillips looking to spring a lot again but here comes St. Joseph into the final minute of the 80 now St. Joseph on the front foot still. Ball across. Cut out there by Roberts. Roberts, quick clearance. Looking upfield for Allard. Coming across there was the defender, but here's Allard. Good work there. Phillips winning out there. Crowded out by a couple of St. Joseph players, and here they go again, St. Joseph. Here they go again. Shot on goal. And that's goal number five. From uh, about 25 yards out. She just hit it. And beat goalkeeper Roberts there. Who knew nothing about that one. And that's the deal. The deal sealed there by uh, that player. They get the fifth goal in the final seconds of the 80th minute. And that's goal number five. That's definitely... Signed and sealed now for St. Joseph Convent. Bishop Centenary for all their hard work have really gift up some easy goals. Yeah, it must be said. They're definitely going to go down in this one. They would definitely want to get one more to restore some pride. Chance in all for Allard. Get the ball into the area. One last chance for them to pull one more back. Allard. goes wide so that might be the final play of the game there booted a long long field 
St. Joseph in the mood for one more before the final whistle. Chance for it. Shot there. Oh, but Roberts it did well. Roberts did well to keep that one out there. There we see. Bursting down that right hand side and getting a shot off. Roberts did well to get it. And then the follow up did well to save on the rebound as well. Corner here now for St. Joseph right at the death. Short one taken. Shot on goal. Hi. And that's the final whistle there. This one and in favor of St. Joseph. They take all three points here. They win this one by five goals to two against Bishop Centenary. So that's all we have here for you from Tiger Sports International. And we say bid you farewells. Goodbye.